we're sitting here now. Yesterday we had some problems. We had some problems with the, with the stream. <laughs> we had some problems, ladies and germs, with the stream itself. In the so far as the audio went missing, there's something to do with my settings. I'm not quite sure what 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 the settings are that that might need to be. Are oh, you in the spotlight? You're in the spotlight, mate. Oh, you're in the spotlight. Tell us all about it. Tell us what happened. Well, there I was, officer, just minding my own business, and all of a sudden, I went into Discord, and um, I I turned off my audio. So basically, if you I don't know if anybody watched the stream yesterday, but I mean I had a very nice time with my friend Dirty Sonic, who very kindly invited me aboard his wonderful vehicle, the Reclaimer itself, and we we wandered about. He, he let me fly it for a bit. I landed it on Daymar very successfully, I might add. Um, uh, unfortunately, there was a large crash after I took off, so that wasn't so clever. But anyway, we're back in now. Um, so apologies for yesterday. There is no audio on the second half of the uh, recording. But, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get in now. Uh, see if we can find something to do in this... City verse. I'm looking now. There's nobody on at the moment, but that's all right. We'll, we'll see what goes on. We see the hobbity music is ramping up. I can feel Frodo inside me, wriggling to get free from the grip of Gollum that is the other Janus face of my interior psyche. I am wrestling with my own internal Gollum, my precious. As the hobbity music takes control, I'm reminded of the Shire, but very, not very much of the deep black universe that Chris has tried to conjure up. We evoke Star Wars. We're trying to evoke Star Wars. Now, I've got to be a little bit quiet. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet tonight. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm, I'll be whispering. I'm so, apologies if it's low on the audio side, but that's just the way it goes. We'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just take it as it comes, you know. It's not a professional stream, is it? <laughs> Why not? Why wouldn't you do something to the best of your ability, young man? Okay. The gunshot tells us there's been a humane killing, or we have found our way into the verse. Yeah, we're in. I don't know why there is a gunshot noise when you arrive in the universe these days, but we'll we'll. We'll solve that another time. Anyway, meanwhile, welcome to Star Citizen 3.1. Here we are, climbing out of bed. Now, I've got no overlay at the moment, so apologies for that also. God, what's going on with this stream? It's an absolute joke. But here we are. Decent frames, 32, not too bad, not too bad at all. There's the coat angle, there's the rail for safety. Should you look down, you might look up as well. And there's the bright lights upon you, the spotlight itself shining upon your face. Well, what are you going to do next? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go out the door, I'm going to guess. We like to have a little wager every time we do this, don't we? If we look at the scuffings, and we look at the rumpling of the bed, the memory foam has forgotten us already as we look over here to this beautiful panel. Now, I would like to suggest that we're in pod, pod number six. Yeah, look at this, and we're in pod number 15. We couldn't be more wrong. We're wrong by nine. And what's the square root of nine? It's three. So technically on deck three, times by three, we're only wrong by nine, which is a third of what we were wrong by, and therefore we shall find ourselves back in the starting place, which we never even left because even though we'd just begun, we'd done the whole thing and hadn't realised that we'd finished before we'd started. Hello, mate. How's the administration going? But you're gutted about having that written underneath your fizzog, aren't you? And you look so rebellious in your strange nipple tag jumper. What's that? Look look at this. Look, as you go back... Need something? Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more of your side boob, mate. Anyway, look, let's just check the prices, because I, I was... I'm I, in the middle of something. All right, well, aren't we all, mate? There's no such other position. You can't be at the end or the, st or, the, or, the, or the beginning, so you're always in the middle. That's what I've just been trying to explain to the good people. All right, let's try that. Now, look, these prices are to die for. 
Fluorine 2.65, There's been a wild revamp of the prices. I don't really like it when they do this because it sort of choreographs me into other kinds of gameplay. Obviously, they're trying to figure out the, the personal beacons. What's it called now? The beacon system or the distress beacons or the whatever. Anyway, I thought we'd take out the old uh, Terrapin. Just for jolly, you know. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. <laughs> That's very nice. Thank you very much. A07. So look, we're going to take out the Terrapin. And although she is quite nippy and stuff, she's got no guns. But we thought we'd try and do a few comma rays just to see if what the FPS is like. The combat, the dog fighting, the, the, the cat fighting, the mud wrestling is like in Star Citizen. So basically, if you avoid the staff like that, they won't look you in the eye, even though the dark glasses betray another deeper intent. Let's press the blue button. Stop whittling. And prattling. Ooh. In we go to the new audio settings of the airlock, which I quite like. And this looks much better now. Much, much, much better. Right, here we go. Uh, AO7 is this way. So, essentially speaking, uh, we're going to try out the Terrapin as a dogfighter, which, you know, might be a bit like trying to get a duck to eat a mouse trap, but, you know, if you do it quackly enough, <laughs> if you make it snappy, <laughs> then there'll be no problem. So, we're hoping that the nippy little Terrapin with its tons of armour will have the door on the other side. I'm sure the door's on this side though, it's on the left isn't it? Or am I at the rear end? It's like so hard, well, it's a bit like a push me pull you this vehicle, in the sense that the back end looks exactly like the front, said Dr. Doolittle, trying to explain why he'd been caught going backwards into a pantomime horse in a hall of mirrors. Right, okay, so that means the door is this side, which is where I've just come from, he said confused and ever so stressed look at this door <sighs> lovely rescue rescue me why don't you come on and rescue me baby look at this ship I'll give you the full tour look at that it's the G49 otherwise known as the Kazi let's just uh, close the door it's the full beauty of it now look there's some nice steelage here not quite as rough and ready as a drake, but it's still got its sort of, you know, it's functional. Functional precision here. A little bit of life support. I'm not sure if all these are locked at the moment, but they should, presumably they'll be they'll be undone. There's a microwave there, which I can, you know, it's my microwave. And there's the bed. We don't want to do that just at the moment. It's a nice humming noise as we get near the engines. And actually, this one... I'm not mistaken, is available. Should you be caught short in the deep black, you can hit Brown Town at any time you like. Look at that. A little sink there as well, a little mirror, a Rorim, to check your reflection of your Fizzog as you're straining on the John, or the head, I should say. And in case there's some sort of colonic emergency, you can always press the rig big red button and Chris will come running with a handful of toilet paper to help you out. These yellow pipes, well, we all know what comes out of the toilet. We'll say no more about it. Now, as we hop in, you can see the seat is well worn. Lovely detail on the floor there. And as we swing round into position, we can see... Whoa. Now that, my friends, that is what I'm talking about. Now that is a ship. Look at that. That is amazing. Look at those MFTs. <laughs> right, oh. Let's take. Complete. Take him up. It's ever so smooth, isn't he? Look at that. Well, it's she, isn't it? Ever so smooth she is. Smooth as barrel. Hello, there's a reclaimer. I've Let's go and see that reclaimer, shall we? 
it's just what I should have done is shown you that look that's what happens I'll, I'll show you that again go so you see as the as you get put the landing gear down there you see that the engines rotate and you come drifting out and there's the little fella himself who is that geezer and why is he so popular what a game though eh? 36 frames looking all right the guns do jitter about I'm not quite sure what that's all about anyway look I'll show you that again just get the full glory of it. Let's get you on the sunny side of the street, shall we? So you can see what's going on. So there she is. With the landing gear down. And they shunt into position like that. And then these cowlings come over the top head. Very nice. Very nice. Sorry that my fizzog's in the way, but never mind. So lovely. Now where did that... Um, that reclaim ago was that up there Mustang no nope. Aurora no nope. Avenger I'm sure there was a reclaimer hanging around in the sky there for a minute anyway she's quite nippy isn't she look controls very responsive take a little look at the controls here you can see the long arm of the law reaching out. We've got to be careful that we don't crash, obviously. No, we're alright. And um, there we have it. Look, there's these little legs. Look at his little legs sticking out at a funny angle. And his glowing red crotch. So, and, and the slightly <laughs> misaligned grip there on the handle of the dangle. But the MFDs spread out nicely you can zoom in you can change the power ratio anytime you want that's not something that I actually want to do but never mind I've done it now I'll tell you what I'll do I'll go back in and I'll give it a little bit more weapons let's zoom in slightly here shall we since I'm going for the old FPS we'll go up here Give the weapons a little bit of a tweak. Yeah? How do we feel about that? We feel good about that. Right, so now that we've seen a little bit of the terrapin. Sure there was a reclaimer here. Um Oh no, it's a constellation. Okay. Maybe it was that one there. What is that? Nobody likes the tang of must. Anyway, whatever. We're not gonna I'm not gonna dilly dally. Let's head off. I like the new noises as well, they're very good. Right, let's go to Comoro three oh six, see what we can find. Guns on this are very, very. Oh, that's so nice. All right. It's time for the interdickheads. Let's see where they are. Anybody? You can see here that the graphics are slightly off. There's a weird bug with the fact that the the jets are still aligned to the original alignment so that the jets are still firing downwards even though we've turned the engine. So that's a bug that needs fixing. I'm sure I'm not the first to notice it. Oh, and the 
rocks have gone. Just about when you're about to get your rocks off. Your rocks get off. Never mind. So lovely. Who's this fella here now? Okay. Alright. Now, now we're on for it. Let's see if we can get a little bit nearer to this business. So that's Crusader Security. Let's see if we can pick somebody else up here. Let's take out this guy. Corso Scarpelli. Let's see if we can do any damage to this guy. Premature comment, mate. Considering that we've only just met. from Star Marine. from Wimbledon trying to do it like a London accent. Don't you? I bet you think you're so great, don't you? So great, don't you? Come on. Alright, so maybe you're not such a pushover. C out of here. Music fading down. Let's take a look at the damage because there was some damage. I lost a wing or something. Quite hard to see. I've got headlights on this thing. Doesn't look like it, does it? Bogey. 
see on my readouts it's saying that I've, I've lost a bit of me dignity but as far as I'm concerned it's still intact right let's see who's here Avenger time to burn your crits keep a lookout not quite sure what's going on there alright so this is the geezer the one. So let's get in a little bit closer. Who's this? Cutlass. Oh dear. Doesn't bode well, does it? somebody in this ship. That would be good, wouldn't it? Come on, baby. Let's go, let's go. I can even get through the shields with these guns. Oh, 
baby. Don't let me down. Who's still shooting them? And what is the story with this comrade, man? Got a little bit of damage there. Everything looks pretty locked down to me. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Is it because I accidentally clipped somebody in the battle? Is that is that what the deal is here? But this guy here. subject. Meanwhile, what I would like to go to, uh, I'll shed a few tears over here and see what can happen to me at Cryastro. That might be the smart, the smart play. There she is. Oh, Astro. Awesome. 
bro. Who knew? I mean, that to me was very confusing because it seems like I've fallen foul of the law somehow. Very strange. All right, anyway. Let's talk about the little flaming signal. Looks like my keyboard's alight. Let's just yeah, get ourselves into a good position here. Let's have a look at the old ship then as she comes in. Like I don't, I don't really know what the deal is here. There she is, look. Uh, she seems alright. A little bit jittery, maybe. Let's get over this way, get into the pads, and we'll sort, soon sort this mess out. Right then, boys and girls. Now then. Chris, answer me this. Why did you call it Cry Astro? Every time I see it, I just want to have a little weep, you know, because it's so beautiful. Bogey. Yeah, never mind the bogey. I think I've got myself a crime stat for some reason. I don't know why. I've just killed a pirate, for God's sake. Why, why have I got a crime stat? Now, do I have to hail these guys? I can't remember how it works now. You have to. No. Okay, you can just land. Alright, let's go for it then. Let's go for this one on the end. Now that, I don't really get. Okay. Right, that's one of these anyway, is it? Is it this one? No, is it this one? Oh, don't shoot me now, come on, that's not fair. Is it this one? No. Is it... Well, it must be one of them. There we go. Repair. Why am I still going forwards? I tell you what, this is one of the mechanics that gets on my nerves. Every, t every time I've used this station, 2.5, 2.6, whatever it is, Right to now, it's never worked. You always land and then slide into the thing. Look at where I am now. Look, look at this. So I'm crashed into the thing. It's ridiculous, man. Right, let's see if we can actually affect a landing. Right. Right, bang in the centre. There we go. Now why couldn't I just do that in the first place? Now engines off. Where's that? Engines off. Hmm, it's very interesting this. The ship is still in its damage state. Hello? this now? What's going on? What is with what is it with this? I picked up missiles. 
I picked up salvage. How have I done that? Look, ladies and germs. Maybe it's because I left the toilet door open. Look at that. <laughs> Damaged state of the toilet. It's raining. In the toilet. Oh, it's okay, it's a shower. Well, I'm a bit stumped, because shower and toilet, to me, have never really been a great mix. But, hey, when you're in a tight space, why not put your missiles in the cupboard? Mrs. Miggins. This is very odd, isn't it? So, is it because, like, I've picked up some sort of weaponry that has now belongs to me? Can I sell that? Or is that part of my damaged state now that I've been... I mean, I've got no missiles on this ship. I've got a very strong sense of electricity around the jump drive. It's not good, is it? The jump drive looks fried. If only I could fix it, that would be great. I mean, it's great to have that mechanic in, but I'd like to be able to fix it. And what's this little gubbins here? Is that chaff? Someone's chaffed on my bed. I don't understand it. Somebody's chaffed my bed and panthered my living room. And I've got steam coming out the vents. Who knew? The cutlass back. Black is back. It certainly is. It's fried my incinerators and discombobulated my Google flange. I reckon what I need to do now is figure out if I can sell this garbage. So look, I've done the repair work. don't really understand it. I've repaired the ship. I've made no money. Like, trade is dead. Comma rays are impossible. Slayer, online. Chat, online. Bogey. <laughs> I've got flares, chaff and a bogey. And they're all online. I thought flares were coming back in. I didn't know it was so quickly, though. I didn't know you meant today. But flares are coming back in now. Okay. Fair enough. Um, well, other than trying to repair my ship again, I don't really know quite what to do. I really ought to sort this out, because I'd like to get repaired. I mean, it's such an easy mechanic, that, isn't it? Hello, I'm the easy mechanic. I hear you've got a problem with your plumbing, lady. Right, okay. Let's put the engine back on and let's get out of here. Engines online. Engines online. I'd like to take off now, please. Rear view. Okay, fair enough. There it was. The beauty. It's very good looking, though, isn't it? Cry Astro. If only it worked. It's a shame, that, because that's a really good mechanic in the game, that. And I just feel like they should really fix that, because I've done that many times. Been in a completely damaged state in a ship, and then you go there, Cry Astro, you pay the money to get it fixed. It is fixed, technically, according to the game. It's now fully functional. But the damaged state persists. Maybe that's why they call it the persistent universe. Oh. Right, I've had enough of that now. Alright people, I'm not sure about 3.1 as it goes. We'll have to take it under advisement. Maybe it's my stupidity, but uh, you know, that's always <laughs> a possibility. Let's, let's just hop back out of here. Get back to Ollie. Quick smart, and we'll see what we can see. Hope we don't get interdicted again. There's little Ollie. There you 
go. Try and get a good view of it. It's a nice looking ship though, isn't it? Very nice. Look at that. Coming into Port Olisar. Like a villain. Maybe I've got a crime stat, maybe that's the problem. Right, let's just check. We'll soon find out, won't we? The cannons open up and tear me to shreds. Alright, son. Alright then. Let's see what you've got to offer me. Look, I'm going to have to put it to bed now, people, but... Um, I can't take the I can't take the jittering and the smoke. I can't take the the frazzled wires, the short circuits that are occurring in my terrapin, in the terrible pin itself. Uh, actually, before I do that, I've got to get myself in the right right scenario. Come on, give me the thing I want. There she is, just past the reclaimer. Come on, don't jitter. Don't jitter, don't jitter. There she is. Just coming in over the top of the reclaimer. I would walk 500 miles. I would walk 500 miles to be the man. Walk 5,000 miles to get to Kutra or. Autopilot. There she is, look. There's the view that we all know and love. The beautiful. The beautiful Terrapin. She comes in for a touchdown. You know, this is going to be some game. When they get all the creases ironed out, mate, I tell you. It's going to be some. Some game. Let me tell you, it's going to be some game. All right, ladies and germs. Well, you know, on that note... Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. I, I will. Uh, on that note, that was just a short little stream just to say hi. I'm back in business. Um, apologies yesterday for the audio. Apologies for the terrible piloting and gunfighting today. Um, but that's how it goes. <laughs> Alright, as the music plays us out, we shall cut it short, just in, able to be, in order to be able to say uh, a good night. It was nice to see you in the PU, and I'll be back on again tomorrow. Ciao for now.